just got much bigger. You gotta bring the outside in. Yeah, that's incredible. Thank you. Uh, how's it going, Lance? It's going well, keeping the fun alive. Yes, that is what we're doing. <laughs> we work, we play. Work hard, play hard. Absolutely. Play more often, though. Yes, the ratio, uh, it's, it fluctuates a little, it's fluid. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, well, this is incredible. This is uh, one of the rigs that everybody around town is talking about. And uh, you did all this yourself. Yes, I did. Very cool. Um, um, uh, I'm, I have about 35 years of construction background in pretty much every realm of it. Um, the past 10, I've been more geared towards kitchens and baths, so and I do the whole cabinetry end of it too. I have a small shop back in Florida. Um, so you did literally everything by yourself? Yeah, every every bit of this is... How long did it take you? I had it ready, pretty well done, within two months. Really? That is incredible. Yeah, I went at it hard for the first month and then I kind of slacked off a little, but... Did you do a bunch of research before you got started? Uh, yeah, I was... I watched a lot of videos and um, at the time I had been looking at factory builds and uh -huh. just really Boring. wasn't impressed yeah. with anything about them, right. particularly the quality. Yeah. And uh, being out and about enough in it, I came to the conclusion that people were having more problems than fun yeah with brand new things so right it's true I knew I had the ability and had some experience with cargo trailers due to just working and I beat the heck out of everything I have so the cargo trailers were never a problem so I figured that'd be a good platform mm. to start with yeah and go grab this and <clears throat> figured out what comp what was important for me and of course I wanted a comfortable bed I wanted I like to cook so I wanted mm -hmm. a kitchen area mm -hmm. um, being in Florida climate control was important and to be able to take a hot shower was oh, way yeah. up on the list Me so too. that was the basis of this and then it was just a matter of seeking out all the little components and once I got those it was easy enough just to build cabinets in between everything once I figured out the layout. Yeah, when you start a clean slate you can come up with something that's completely customized to you exactly how you want it mm -hmm. and if you got the skills why not, right? Exactly. Um, so having, how long have you lived in here? About two and a half years full time. Two and a half years, and is it pretty much like you built it in the first place, or have you modified it and kind of figured it out as you went? Or I, the only thing I changed out is actually the solar, um, and not that there was really anything wrong with the previous setup, but I went a little bigger with mm. some different components and switched to lithiums. Just upgraded, basically. Yeah. yeah. Well, very cool. Well, tell me the thought process of how you went from sticks and bricks to living in a tiny home on wheels. Well, originally it was just something to go have fun in when I felt like going and having fun, but when as soon as this was completed, I, w I fell in love with the thing. Mm. So it was like I I wanted to be in it all the time. Yeah. And I actually the way I travel, I'm usually gone a few months, then yeah. I come back. Mm -hmm. I get that Italian disease and have to return home. Uh, yeah. Which is the um, Funzolo. Have you had that? No, Funzolo. No, I've never had that. Funzolo. Oh, Funzolo. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. So, oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you were saying you were like homesick and you yeah. got to home. Okay, no, it's I gotcha. the Italian disease Funzolo. So you, so you so make out, money, you go out and spend money, you make then, money. You then I go money. back when I get the disease and re <laughs> get rid of it and go back out again. Okay, so. yeah. You got to go treat the Funzolo disease. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's a good system though. Mm -hmm. No, it works. And then the benefit of that is I can, when I'm out, I can stay comfortable, you yeah. know, having that little peace of mind of money in my pocket. Oh, yeah. And um, when I go back, I've usually been in tune out here long enough to just go back with a really good attitude. It's called to, balance, right? To deal with what 
the grind, oh, totally. so to say, the mainstream yeah. grind that so many people are locked into. Oh, and, and when that's your only life and that's all you live, yeah, that's not bad. And life. so I don't get that buildup of stress at all. Yeah, and the um, burnout. And and I can feel it coming on, and when I do, I run away again. Yeah, so. that's a really brilliant system. It's it. So it's, you built this kind of a, to vacation as a weekend warrior thing, mm -hmm. but then it's like you have it. It's completely 100% livable. You love being in it. Why keep paying rent or mortgage? It's actually nicer than my house. So yeah. It's, I, <laughs> it was a no-brainer for me. I mean, not that my house is bad, but I, I do still have the sticks and bricks. I rent that to my son and his girlfriend. And so that helps fund you a little bit as well. Well, no, it just keeps that all floating through. I see. With without really anything coming out of my pocket. Cool. Um, more or less, I just pay the utilities at the house. Mm -hmm. So I have that home base that's always there. Sure. My garage is my shop. Mm -hmm. So there's not, I have no overhead. Um, all my work is reference work. So I just sort of, as I need to go back, go back. And as yeah. I can stay away, I stay away as long as I can stay away. Yeah. Um, so where do you travel mostly when you're out? North Georgia, Northwest Georgia, in the, the east side of Tennessee, the um, Smoky Mountains, Smokies in the Carolinas, Cherokee Forest area. Beautiful. That's my favorite area just because mm -hmm. there's a lot of everything right there. Resources. Yeah. They're not. It's hard to find spots. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have a lot of friends that are that way that I can go on private property with. So oh, that's really nice. It's sort of nobody's going to bother me where I am. Well, I love the desert, but back there you have the advantage that you can just get wa get water right out of a creek. Right, and I have that ability with this too, with the filtration system. I'll show you once we get up front there. Yeah, because then you can boondock that. forever between yeah. your solar and, and that's the that's the big holdup for any of us is is keeping a water supply at hand. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and um, that's tricky in the desert. The, well, and I do love it out here too, but yeah. this is a whole different realm of. You know, there's every location you go to, you just need to reacclimate to yeah. your conditions and, you know, work with what you got. So what I may be doing in the Carolinas when I come here is going to be totally different yeah. the way I handle. And well, it turns out humans are very adaptable. Yeah. And we oh, have yeah. the opportunity to find that out where I feel like a lot of people who are just in the same system doing the same thing day after day, mm -hmm. uh, they don't really tap into the uh, that human ability to adapt, you know, and right. the ingenuity that um, that necessity um, brings out in us. Yeah. So the um, no. With that being said, I just love the whole lifestyle of kind of being able to do what I want when I want. I mm -hmm. mean, I've always been known to be a couple steps outside the box throughout most yeah. of my life. So nobody looks at it as an odd thing for me at all right um, the, the, most of us were already a little unconventional well it, yeah and it's everybody's preconditioned for mainstream mm -hmm. so we're programmed this, yeah this takes a little reprogramming absolutely but once you grab it it's super simple oh yeah um, and I feel like I've cracked the code. I'm yeah. like, oh my gosh, if people only knew. <laughs> like, I've, I'm not in the matrix, you know? It's like, really just a matter of doing it. Yes. It's it's really comes down to that. You can have just, and any fears you do have before you start, as long as you keep presenting yourself with those challenges, you're going to walk through them all and get see that that was nothing. Exactly Why right. was I worried about that? I agree. I couldn't agree more. The, um, you know, they do say worry works because 90% of the stuff you worry about never happens. And right. That's, that's pretty much the truth. I so. think so too, yeah. Or or the things you were afraid of do come up and you're like, oh, that's totally handleable. Mm -hmm. Like that's not even a big deal. Right. Yeah, that kind of that feeling like what took me so long, you know? <laughs> well, it's it, there's a lot of things people want to get in order, I guess, and for everybody that varies sure. from area to area. But uh, I was just at a point, I did have, um, some health things going on and I typically am working with a, a higher end clientele with the cabinets and stuff and the one thing I heard repetitively from every one of them is that they wish they had gone out and done more mm -hmm. than what they did 
because now they're in their 70s, 80s and financially can do whatever they want right. to do, but they don't have the health to, to get out and walk down the do Grand it. Canyon yeah. or to just to hike up a hill or right. whatever. They're and, and they all envy me in that right. department because, you know, they're they're all Ooh, I wish I did that, you right. know, but they were caught up into the Sure. The money Accumulating thing. and yeah. yeah. Money's an addiction. And, oh uh, man. I think we all have our fair share of that at sure. some point or another. And yeah. uh, of course, in today's society, you do need it. Yeah. But, uh, you don't need a lot of it. Yeah, I've I definitely changed my point. relationship with money and with things, you know, in a way that's made me free. Mm -hmm. A lot freer. Yeah. Very but, cool. Well, how do people respond to your lifestyle? Rather well, yeah. and Jen, I, like I said, I think there's an envy on a lot of people's part, and then there's always that part of the crowd that's like, how do, you, how do you do that? You right. know, it's like I would need my house, and that the, just that's the preconditioned, sure, locked into the system people. Exactly, um, a fixed mindset. Right. Yeah. And whether they stay that way or not, that's not for me to determine sure. anyway. But but yeah, um, what I hear more than anything is like, oh, I wish I could do that. And little yeah. do they know, they could. You can't. Yeah. yeah, it's super, super easy to do. Yeah, honestly, um, it's easier. Yeah. It's yeah. simpler. It's a lot simpler. Yeah. Well, cool. Why don't you give us a tour? Show us all the really nifty features that you've built into your home. Okie doke. Well... I guess start with where we're sitting here. I do have uh, two 22 gallon tanks of water um, and some fishing poles because I like to fish. Nice. And the pump, the pump is just a little 12 volt pump that actually it is 110, but the uh, it shoots out about 30 pounds of pressure, so I get like blasting showers. Nice. And, yeah, it's, it's that was part of the requirements for this. Yes, yeah, showers and are important. I can run, if I'm being conservative, I can probably go a good three, three to four weeks would be squeezing it, but three fairly wow. easy out of that water. And that's really conserving though. But yeah. I can do comfortably, like where I'm taking showers sure. daily, I can do two weeks easy with this. Awesome. So that. And then the cabinetry are just, these are just upper cabinets that are, um, it's a pre-finished birch plywood that I made the cabinets out of and the doors are just veneered birch and they're lacquered. Mm. Um, Very nice. Everything sort of stays in, in touch. The, the lighting, this is just sort of like some ambient light. Ambient light. That yeah. I can change the colors. Not that I do that a whole lot. I just like keeping it at the yellow. Yeah, you don't and ever strobe it. Well, you can. Yeah, I, from <laughs> I time have those to time, too. It just depends on the what, mood. what activities may be occurring. At the time. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> Party time. <Yeah. laughs> um, then I guess. Well, I have my TV. It's a little smart TV, and I can, with my hotspot, stream stuff I got a fire stick so I can do uh, Netflix mm -hmm. or any of that even with a minimal signal very cool I have my radio so that's more or less the electronics cool the bed is right here so what I do for that is I just pop, pop the little top off and these are just little pads to keep so I stick these to the side, and I have just two little stainless bolts that kind of I couldn't get it. <laughs> well, it's popped out a little because I got the pillows in there. The pillows okay. aren't in there, it would close up easier, but this comes down. And then there's a bed. But there once was none. That's fantastic. Well, that's nice. Yeah, it's 12 inches of memory foam with the cool gel top, so oh. you don't sweat or anything. Yeah. It is a little bit I think there. people assume that this life is uncomfortable, but it can be just as just as comfortable as you know yeah. at home without wheels. And with my Egyptian cotton. Ooh la la. Sheets. Yeah. <laughs> Lap of luxury. <laughs> Only the best. So is this. 
Easy enough. You got it? Yep. So that keeps that fairly simple. And then this is just another little... Looks like it should go in more. Did I do it wrong? Then I have the uh, the little, there's a little cubby here for whatever. I just keep um, some sharpening stones in there and my GoPro is down there and some ammo cleaning, gun cleaning stuff. Uh, this moves right into the power plant, which is the... It's a 24 volt system and there's 200 amp hours of lithium. It's an elite setup from Larry down at Starlight. Um, they are ran in series and parallel <clears throat> to this whole little safety section of under voltage, over voltage, and there's a little computer down there. I have a fan that's thermostatically controlled. If it gets warm in there, it'll kind of cool it down. And you did all this as well? Yes, I did all the wiring. Impressive. Um, that's all being transformed to power through. This is a Magnum hybrid. It's a, a 4,000 watt, 24 volt inverter. And I have the PT100 Magnum charge controller to pull my solar off hmm. from up on the roof. And I do have 1400 watts up top. 1400 watts, nice. That, uh, yeah, that's. So right now it's throwing out 65 volts. There's only 390 watts coming in because it's kind of cloudy. Yeah. That's the voltage of the batteries. And that's the amps. Cool. We're making that. We're charging anyway. Not much, but we're. And charging. then this is some nifty high tech looking stuff over here. Yeah, well, that's sort of the monitoring system. Um, this is telling me all the basic parameters of the battery condition. So we're at 26.7. We're getting 8 amps in. This is the capacity of the banks at 78. And then I can switch to the individual cells so I get each rating wow. on each of the cells with temperatures just to sort of keep track and I can also switch to my cameras outside that are there's a DVR up under in the other cabinet that I have four high def cameras that have infrared so I can see day or night so do you ever just sit in here and spy on your neighbors? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I do that. Or watch little animals running around on the well, ground, too. Because I can flip that to the TV if I want. That's so, so cool. And then, and then I can literally zoom in each it's of the frames. like Animal Planet, but yeah. like better. Because it's <laughs> real in life. Well, so, but you probably don't have much security. Have you ever had a security issue? Because you're no. so stealth. I wouldn't no. think that anybody would even... No, it's it was just because of the lack. I the reason I did it was because I knew I'd be eating up a lot of wall space with the build. Mm. So I did it. Not that you can compensate for windows, but because of the lack of. Yeah. I just wanted that little extra to see what was in front, back, and the two sides. I would sides love of to have something like that. And it's it's hand. You can tilt them and get different views and stuff. Yeah. So it it does. Uh, it does a pretty good job of just... There's been a few times when I'm like, I really want to know what's out there because something's definitely going on, you know? It's This is all for me. It's about comfort and peace of mind. And yeah. it's just another little peace of mind. I mean, I have... I'm sort of a techie guy and like all the little gadgety things. Um, I do have tire pressure monitoring caps on all my tires so I know my tire pressure when I'm running and hmm. just stuff wow. like that throughout that... Um, again, peace of mind to, yeah. to know what's what. And, and then the comfort factor. Yes. This is something that not a lot of us have. <laughs> that is a mini split. It's a uh, a Pioneer, I believe it's 22 and a half sear, which is a, kind of an energy rating for it. It's, it's a high efficiency. Mm -hmm. So there's capacitors in there and it's 
according to the paperwork, it's only supposed to peak at like 800 watts when mm. it's running. Mm. But it's sort of the way it works is it ramps up real slow. So when I turn it on, it'll probably be drawing two, three, maybe 400 watts. And as it's, it, it'll slowly ramp up. So what that does is help with your batteries that you're not getting that big jolt of power yeah. that rooftop units do. Or actually the window shakers, the smaller ones, don't really climb up that high either. But the, it, there's a big surge that they need to get yeah. going. So you really like this one? Oh yeah. And again, there's... Well pricey, over. I imagine. No, it's only 800 bucks. It's cheaper than a rooftop. Okay. And this is just the hat. This is the air handler portion. Um, it's, you know, it's got filters. You keep them clean. You keep mm -hmm. your coils all cleaned up and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, uh... Nice. This has been bounced around the desert, the mountains, mm -hmm. the roadways for over 30,000 miles. And no issues i've i've had absolutely no issues in here as far as Amazing. breakdown um of course there's some stuff that just due to my lack of maintenance slipped by and stuff like huh. loosened up stuff here and there but aside from that it's run flawlessly yeah um and and all the components refrigerator too i've had no absolutely no issues with whatsoever well, I love your kitchen. Show us around um, your kitchen features. You said you like to cook. Yeah. The, uh, so, it's just a little apartment sized fridge, which is, it, there is nothing in here RV related. Everything in here is actually for a house or a small house. Uh -huh. um, my logic there was this is a. $250 refrigerator and if it was to take a puke on me I can just go to Home Depot and buy another one real quick and I'm not gonna be out 1400 for right. the Dometic or you know the the other efficient stuff and I am powered well enough in here that this all runs 24 7 the cameras the, the yeah. fridge yeah. Um, I can run the air during the day as oh, long wow. as I'm getting sun you're really powered up. Um, yeah, there's there's plenty of, of boost, but the kitchen it's just a full size sink again, right right from a thing and a little mini apartment size gas. You got four four burners, the that's oven. It's even got a little broiler. Yeah, that's all you need. You can broil. So cooking wise, I mean I do like to barbecue, but it's just simple. Yeah. Cause I'm all about the easy setup too. I, yeah. I don't like rolling out carpets and putting on it. Yeah, your up. place is not cluttered in the least. It's, it's very streamlined. It just s simpler is better for me. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, low maintenance, clean. Th this is just the spice, and I have another drawer right where you're standing, filled with more stuff. And all the drawers, of course, because I do the cabinets. They're they're dovetailed. You can probably see. I don't know if you want. So they close themselves. Well, yeah, they they got the soft close hardware, but there's dovetailing that holds them all together oh, here on the side. So it's a joint that's used that's not so yeah. much used anymore. Uh huh. But um, it's just a stronger hold. Yeah. Hold all the way around. Very cool. And the same, it's it's the same birch plywood that's on all the walls mm -hmm. and ceiling. I like, I like the two-tone. It's nice. Oh yeah, I just wanted to add a little contrast in with it. Yeah. The black, the black was, the black's hard to keep clean, but I guess you can do it if you stay on it. Look, sure. Um, show us your washer and dryer. Not a lot of us have washer and dryer either. This is really just a fully functioning, like there's all the comforts of home. There's nothing missing in your house. Well, here is, it's just a little costway. Um, I can't believe how light it is. Yeah, it's 10, maybe it's more than 10 pounds, but, and I have it loaded with stuff, but it is very light. It, it really does a great job of cleaning. Um, the downfall of it is you can only do like a day's worth of clothes at a time, maybe mm -hmm. a little bit more, and it is sort of a water hog. 
which for out mm. in the desert could be a problem unless yeah. you have hookups or some. So in the case out here, um, just depending on what I, sometimes it's more convenient just to run to the laundromat for me. Yeah. But if I go to a place that I have the water, I'll just spend the day oh, doing sure. the wash. Yeah. If you've got natural water, why not? Cleaning the whole place down yeah. and get ready for the next move yeah. to wherever. And that seems to work out well. That's so cool. I've never seen one of those. <clears throat> and the spinner, this side is a little spinner uh -huh. that will take most of the moisture out of the clothes. I'd say like t-shirts, probably 95% dry. That's um, so cool. Jeans, 80 85 percent to where you just in the desert here oh, they'll dry out within instantly. a half hour yeah totally they get a little stiff but yeah still and i just use that mrs the biodegradable Myers, stuff yeah, yeah. To, I let things run i do have a, um a hookup gray tank but typically because it's just water flowing i sort of let it dribble i yeah. know some people frown upon that but i don't feel i'm hurting yeah anything with the water that's dripping out of here right so and my toilet that i don't have anymore i did have a oh yeah that's the one thing uh, you don't have is a toilet uh, <laughs> i did have a like a cassette toilet in there and i never used it so I it was like um why take up the space and keep moving it around so yeah. i just i do use the bucket method which again it for me works yeah so, I have a thing about human waste in my living area yeah. and it's just too small a space. I don't feel it's sanitary to have that mm -hmm. close inside, but that's just my personal opinion on that. Yeah. So I do my business and then it goes right out the door yeah. as soon as it's done. And I don't have to worry about black tanks. I don't have to worry about finding dump stations, any uh -huh. of that stuff. It's, it's all yeah. just part of the routine. And honestly, for such a small space, I can't see having a dedicated space for that, for something you only sit on a couple times a day for a couple minutes, yeah. you know, so it just... Totally. If I'm out in the desert, I just dig a hole. If I'm in the city, there's toilets everywhere. The so. other thing is it's so comfortable in here, I need to do something that makes me feel like I'm camping. So if I've got to take a shovel <laughs> go. and go dig a hole or <laughs> do whatever... Yeah, that's then that's the part that's camping. I, I like it. <laughs> So that's a good shower too, and you said yeah. you get really good water pressure. Oh yeah, the um, it's it's a, again a, a residential mm -hmm. shower. Mm -hmm. It's just a 32 by 32 fiberglass insert. It's all one piece, and the the fixture on it's I think it's just a mowing regular mowing fixture. And I did add this, believe it or not. This is a it's not a hose to the sink. It's what they sell in Europe as a bidet ah. but the um, oh wow it's got like super strong water yeah. pressure yeah it's um, got a lot of pressure so that it's a nice extra handheld sort totally. of thing I you, love having when you're cleaning up uh -huh. particularly taking the navy showers that we have to do right you know yeah. you can rinse down a lot faster totally. in isolated areas to mm -hmm. get the soap off you very cool so that yeah and that and it's my closet also and this stuff again it's takes two minutes not even and stick it on the hook i just stick the clothes on all the hooks and, and this is totally open from a closet to a shower drop my little stand on oh, carpet down so yeah. I don't get my feet dirty after good great clean. systems <laughs> it's very cool um all right well do you want to show us the outside sure did oh well let me there was something I didn't show you this the last time but I don't know if you're going to be able to get back here Sven can you can you weasel in there? You need light? It's all good. That is, uh, I, everything that comes in the tanks goes through those three filters. There's an activated charcoal, um, some numbered carbon filter, and then the last one is a one micron porcelain filter. How, is that expensive? No, 
uh, this that again that was all made it, it was a couple hundred bucks yeah, yeah. but it'll last like a couple thousand gallons before I even got a that's most, an awesome feature most of it, it you can clean it yeah. now the one carbon thing you can replace the internals yeah. of the, but the cartridge comes apart so that you can just dump the old stuff out mm. put new stuff in I want that one day but that will it'll take like stinky well water and make it not stinky that is so and, cool um, questionable water yeah it, it makes it clear and then of course it goes through the Berkey also uh -huh, for so, drinking water yeah that's so great yeah uh, and it takes out chemical and biological. Uh, there is another filter I can get, like if you were in a city where there was fluoride. Yeah. I can take that out too. With this? Not with this. Oh, but you have another feature for that. There, well, I can put it, an attachment on uh, when I'm filling. It that is that. so cool. I forget the... When I'm into this, I can tell you everything about it, but it's yeah. been a couple years, so I forget <clears throat> all the little detailed stuff. I'm going to put that on my list of upgrades <laughs> I want. I think that's really cool. All right. So, moving right along, I guess we'll go outside. Yeah, let's go outside. That's just a magnetic screen, $14 Amazon thing. Those are so cool. It keeps the flies out for the most part yeah and I usually have my dog with me so it's nice because the dog can run in and out oh uh, yeah but Very cool. she's getting old and can't handle the uh, air pressures as well anymore so I just take her on the ice yeah. and she stays in Florida with your son otherwise yeah. she's, 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 nice hello what are you thinking of um you put the chalks over there basically <laughs> 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 the the V nose. That's one of the cameras here. Uh, this is the other half of the climate control. The, it's the condenser, so all the air conditioning is sort of generated in through here in the cool air, and then that gets sent through into the the other part, or heat for that matter. I do have two 20-pound propanes. Um, that that feeds. The oven, and I also have it's an EcoTemp L10 on demand hot water heater that is up right here for hot water yeah. to come in. And then I do have the, uh, another little oh, yeah. it's your tool my, shed. My guest bathroom. Ah, and, the guest bathroom. And the master bathroom. I love that. That's fantastic. So this is your, kind of like your garage, your utility yeah, area. Yeah, it's a your little utility shed. Very um, cool. And when, you know, it's on jacks underneath, so Probably not. when I'm parked, that little piece of floor gets flipped up in there uh -huh. for ventilation for all this, and these get opened, of course. And then when I'm traveling, that comes down, and all the jacks and everything goes right in here. So cool. I don't need an extra... I don't need to carry stuff in the truck or anything. It's all like right here, ready to go. Awesome. And what do you have on top? Up top, there's that's a little weed boost. The square one is a cell booster just to enhance the signal. And that really, because this is all metal, it's sort of like a Faraday cage. Uh -huh. And you don't get a signal even uh -huh. if you're in good locations yeah. inside. So that was more so just so I can get online or inside, <laughs> talk yeah. inside the trailer and it works great the round one is a little omnidirectional HD TV antenna um, the rod that one is if I'm by Wi-Fi it's sort of like a Wi-Fi Ranger mm. but I never use it I just use my phone all the time and that yeah. gives me plenty of speed that was kind of a waste of money and it's all <clears throat> attached to the uh, I have 1400 watts. That's a lot of solar. Solar, four 350 watt that's, panels, mono panels. Very cool. That tilt, they do tilt both ways. So like, if, this, uh, yeah. you know, if I'm east-west, depending on which angle I'm on, yeah. I could actually put it down and tip them up this way. Ah, also. very cool. So, that's fantastic. And that's really, you don't need to do that unless it's winter time. Yeah. And it does make a big difference to chill. Oh, I bet. I'm getting an extra 
four to five hundred watts when I tilt. Really? Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. That's very and cool. And even like today with the overcast, I'm pulling in as much as they'll pull in. Very cool. Man, you got a great ring. Do you ever think about like um, when you get the, uh, hold on, what was the Italian disease? The Funzolo. Whenever you get some the Funzolo, you <laughs> could just convert other people's rigs. Yeah. Have you thought about going into business doing that? Helping I, people with their conversions? I've actually done a couple. Um, the reality of that is it's, I do like doing it mm -hmm. just because I'm giving somebody something super unique for them. <laughs> yeah, totally. But there's a lot of headaches and when I it's compare dollar to dollar with what I can do in the cabinet business and what uh, I get out of this. Sense. Makes sense. Um, now there's a benefit if I were to do this and go legit with it where I have my conversion license and all that stuff where I can actually vent them and be right in the system oh. like Winnebago and everybody else. I've oh, cool. looked into that. I didn't know there was a, like a licensure for that, but of course there yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. That, cool. And it would make it easy for insurance purposes and stuff too. Huh. Um, again, it's long term, that'd probably be a bigger payoff because I'm sort of at the top of where I'm going to be with the caliber of cabinetry that I do. But again, I think it, I, I'm not willing to sacrifice my time out. Yeah. And that, that it, defeats would turn, the purpose. it would turn into that. Yeah. I, I, had enough businesses to know calculated it. what's required to stay on top and I don't want I just don't want the headache. Yeah, that makes sense. This is but, so fantastic. From yeah, for here and there I would I would still do it. Yeah. Well from the outside you would never know there's a lovely home on the inside of this box. That was the other part of it is just something inconspicuous that yeah. didn't scream R V. Yeah. I often stealth into places as a contractor or whatever because I yeah. pull, it, pull it with that truck right here, the uh -huh. 250. Uh -huh. and no one's the wiser. The, even pulling it, I mean it's heavy, it's a 7,000 pound rig mm -hmm. loaded, mm -hmm. fully loaded. And um, I get anywhere from 10 to 16 miles per gallon with that depending on conditions like the mountains I'm going to get to the hell no yeah that's <laughs> pretty darn good for something as heavy as this yeah and so it's I'm not at the eight with all these other big that's what I'm at yeah. nine eight nine yeah. ten yeah. maybe on a good day but again flat flat and even the mountains I do it's getting up them you know, it takes a little kick, but sure. coming back down, you make up for <laughs> yeah, it. So. Totally. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> well, thanks for showing us around, Lance. No I'm impressed. Problem. It's definitely a really nifty little home you got there. Yeah, and if people want to see, I do have a YouTube channel. Oh, what's your YouTube channel? It's LB Rove. LB Rove, R O V E. That's it. LB Rove, cool. Um, there's a bunch of dive videos on there. That's how I originally started it. But when I built this as a thank you for what I gathered off of YouTube initially, yeah. I just put up what I came up with for the idea. And there's some videos. And I don't, I'm not the best at monitoring the thing. But yeah. I do from time to time throw some new stuff up on there, like cool. if I change something. LB Rose. LB Rose. Right on. Well, cool. Thank you so much, Lance. You're welcome. Like My I said, it's, it's one of the ones everybody's talking about. Like, have you seen Lance's? You got to see Lance's. <laughs> There's a lot of nice builds here. Oh man, so much There's impressive a lot stuff. Of nice builds. Yeah, so much ingenuity, and then just kind of like looking around and you know, looking at other people's ideas, and it'd be great for someone who's just starting. You know, you can watch YouTube, but how much fun is it to come here and just tour around and then see like, right. oh, I like this feature, I like that feature, and figure out what you want. And the nice thing with this is, again, I, I sort of bridge the tiny home mm -hmm. quality with the mobility. travel trailer mobility. And yes. That's sort of what makes it a little more stand apart from other things. It's perfect. It's totally perfect. Cool. Well, thanks, Lance. You're welcome. We'll see you around. Have a great day. <laughs> okay. See ya.